Do we grab the potatoes? Yep. This kingdom will starve. As they deserve. Anything else I've left here? Probably. Might as well bring the brickfire barbecues with me. Yoink! Anything else that's, like, particularly important? That I can't make? Ooh, we should take the crafting components. Uh, the crafting stuff. There you go. Now you have a room. I guess I'll take the well with me, too. I have that. I have all of these. See, I don't need the doors. Take the incense burner. Let's see, we don't need that. Uh, let's see. I can make fireworks. I can make pretty much all of these things, no problem. And we'll be able to carry all of this stuff over. I'm gonna... Oh. <laughs> we still have the key. A throne fit for a king. They did end up taking the weapons back, but I'll I'll take what I can. Anything else? Anything that I'm like forgetting? Uh, let's see. Anything in this chest? Take the herb bushes and seeds. Now nah, I can get. I got loads of those. Take the pool. Man, I don't need the pool. That's silly. Okay. Uh, getting back up to the other one. Yep, I can't take the orbs. I can re I tactically could recreate the entire power orb structure, but I'm not really sure what the point of that would be. Obviously, I'm not going to. It'd be amusing if you could actually just fully recreate the Kazapple Cannon and actually make it work. But yeah, I'm a little surprised they'd let me take these things. But, uh, hey, you know what? Why not? Up in this one. Okay. Last thing is... I should probably cancel this and get all that extra iron. Would be a decent amount of steel and gets just sitting around. Heck yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. I have the magic pencil for blueprints. Yeah, there's a l number of things that I could do. The bunny! The bunny! I forgot about the bunny! Arguably one of the hardest to reproduce things from this entire chapter. Sadly, Comfort Bunny... Why, why are people, like, just tittering on over there? I have no idea. Nor do I care. It's time for us to go. I mean, luckily, as far as the people from this island that we're bringing with us, the only person that I actually, like, have a beef with is Anessa. If we were bringing the king with us, I was going to chuck him in a prison or something. Because, like, most everybody else had nothing to do with the Malroth situation. But Anessa? Hmm. Long time no ocean, dude. Are these the willing warriors you're bringing back with you? Yar, they look like fierce fighters to a man. Especially that one in the smock. They said this island was a foreboding place where no man dares set foot. Layfinger, or even Plunk Posterior, but it looks like that was all a load of bilge. 
That said, I did hear some serious bangs and clangs as I was sailing around the island. What exactly has been going on here? Or importantly, why is this island? In the, uh, why is this an island in the first place? I always thought Moonbrook was on a, on the mainland. Ho ho ho! Leaving so soon, dude. Allow us to give you a guard of honor to see you safely on your way. Let me to thank you once again, dude. I'm eternally in your debt. You have restored peace to my kingdom and sown the seeds for a bright and booming future. I expect you to take just as good care of Vanessa and these other noble men and women of Moonbrook. My citizens are like children to me. I trust that you will do right by them. And Melroth, my boy, do not pout so, I prithee. I know that we have treated you appallingly. Your imprisonment was unjust and undeserved. For my role in that fiasco, I wholeheartedly apologize. But look upon your friend. Behold the pained expression on his face. He is innocent of any crime, just as you were. Please, do not inflict this torture on... I don't want to hear it, alright? Just shut up. God zooks, Melroth. How dare you take such an insolent tone with one so great as the king? Know your place, lest you lose your head. As great as the king. Ha! <laughs> and what... Which is greater, I ask you, a king or a god? Alroth, my lamb, what has come over you? Let us not fight, it is time now to go. The path's ahead bright, path ahead's bright, and our future's aglow. Dude, I cannot help feel, but feel responsible for this discord. But entering into an argument will not solve anything. Let us speak with Malroth again once he's calmed down. For now, dude, let us set sail for your island. I cannot wait to begin building in earnest. Well, well, one and all, I wish you a swift and safe passage to Dude's Isle of Awakening. But, if the fa fancy should ever strike you, please do not hesitate in returning to Moonbrook once more. Know that every man, woman, and child of my fair kingdom stands ready to welcome you with open arms. All aboard for a trip abroad. Time to set sail. Malroth versus Beerus, who would win? Absolutely Beerus. And so, Dude's adventure on Moonbrook came to an end. Together with his newfound friends, he sets sail for the Isle of Awakening, where Lulu and the others impatiently await his return. But throughout the journey, Malroth maintains a stony silence, staring down at the ocean all the while. It'd be one thing if they acted... Like they did nothing wrong. At least they fessed up and admit they were entirely responsible for the whole mess. Yeah, but even then, they screwed up bad. Uh. Stuff back. Dude, Melroth, you're back. Thank goodness. We've all been eagerly awaiting your return. So this is who you've recruited to serve in Lulutopia's military, is it? Half of them look like they're ready for retirement. And what calls for that grim and grumpy look on your face? Where's your usual sunny smile? Huh, it's not my problem. I'm out of here. Melroth. Oh, you two had a tiff back on Moonbrook, didn't you? Gosh, you're like children. What happened? Did you make fun of his ponytail? You shall have to apologize immediately. Aha! But there'll be time for that later, my dear. Firstly, we'll welcome our new arrivals. Ahem. As the official master of this island, it is with great pleasure that... Welcome to our island, everyone. With your help, we can make it into the land of what our wildest dreams. I'm sure you're all eager to start building. We'd like help, too, but we don't want to get in the way. If you need an end, just give a shout, and we'll be more than happy to help. Well then, dude, I think it's time we start an audience with the Hairy Hermit, if you'd be so kind as to introduce us. Ho oh, ho ho! Welcome back, 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 dude! I take it these fellows are your... Good, good... Goodness me, what have we here? 
Who is this mighty, muscular, mu merciless looking maiden? What? The King 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 of Moonbrook told you, told you our world is a lie. What, what, what a load of pop, pop, pocky, poppycock. How could our world be anything but the truth, truth, truth? The idea is clearly complete cod, cod, cod swallow. Don't just repeat it to anyone else. We don't want people pan, pan, panicking over this perjurous prattle. God, Zeus. Oh, God, Zeus. Will this glowing gadabout not sit still? I'm beginning, I'm ge becoming quite dizzy. Mr. Hermit, sir, we of Moonbrook seek your blessings to take up residence on this island. Ho, 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 but, but, of course. You're more than welcome to stay. We could do with a few folk, folk, folk as fierce as you. Who tells us that this land is threatened by the forces of the children of Hargon? Please tell us how best we can help in driving them away. Oh, we don't need to worry about that anymore. Ever since Dude left, the monsters stopped attacking. And our first, first, first priority must be to build you all some homes to live in. Must be tired after your long, long, long journey. Thank you, Mr. Hermit, sir. I hope that we can make good use of the abundant space you have here to give shape to our dreams. Dude, after all these years of yearning, I can finally be the builder I always wanted to be. But all I have done yet is help build part of a tower. I need to prove myself as a builder. I need to build something magnificent, something majestic, something that is all my own. Ho, 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 she's certainly brim, brim, brimming with vim and vigor. I know the perfect place for you to set, set, settle. There's another tab, tab, tablet over there to the north. Another area that's just waiting to be developed. I call it the Cerulean Step. Go and have a look, look, look. Ah, can't work to it yet. <sighs> he takes a close look. Well, dude, any bright ideas for what to build here? Moonbrook had a castle, didn't it? Well, I think it's about time Lulutopia had one, too. But it has to be a million times bigger and better than the one on Moonbrook. I won't allow Lulutopia to lag behind. And as far as the scenery is concerned, wouldn't it be wonderful to look out over a pure white snowfield from the warmth of my royal bedchamber? The castle will serve us well defensively, but it will not be enough. We need traps and magical defenses to drive off any attack by the children of Hargon. Ho 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 ho! So, dude, have you decided on what to build, build, build? Images of a colossal castle towering over a sparkling snowfield swirl around dude's mind. Yeah. Build the castle, make a snowfield, build traps to defeat the monsters. A grand castle in a field of pure white snow with bristling battery of traps to defend it. We are to build our very own Moonbrook. Ho ho ho. Let us settle here and build not only a castle, but a new home. Gosh, you're awfully eager to be begin building. It seems like Dude has had quite the influence on you. <laughs> he almost certainly has. Why, when he built the Kazapple Cannon for us, I was positively moved to tears. Is that so? It sounds like your building skills have improved even more since you've been away. I can't wait to see the improvement for myself. Oh, dude, we brought a multitude of materials from Moonbrook to help us begin building our new home. I shall pop them into the chest for safekeeping. I selected uh, I selected the stone and marble myself, dude. They're of the finest possible qual quality. As for me, I happened to stumble over an ugly old mirror while I was out practicing my latest musical masterpiece. It seems like a sort of thing, so I tossed it in the pile, too. You're also kind and thoughtful. Just the kind of model workers Lulutopia needs. Consider yourselves all honorary citizens. Now, my loyal subjects, it's time to get to work. We need a castle, a snowfield, and a fearsome array of terrifying traps. Uh, 
Oh, that was actually dialogue. Whoops. You do well as she says, dude. Lulu, Lulu has an eye for these things. So as you can warp, warp, warp to the stone tablet here. It's much quick, quick, quicker than walking. A new castle would be the perfect finishing touch to Lulutopia, like a beautiful crown and an even more beautiful princess. Yes, the fin fin finishing touch. Dude, this is the last, last, last area that awaits development. Once you've completed these tar tar targets, the island will finally become a true builder's paradise. This is the final tab tab tablet, young builder. The final task 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 that stand between you and de your destiny. Your castle sits on a pris pris pristine snowfield, all ringed around by impenetrable defenses. Come to me at the Tem Tem Temple and tell me of your success. All right then, dude, Anessa, let's get building. I told you I found the perfect spot to put our castle, didn't I? Well, it's just here. It's a nice flat plateau with plenty of space for a castle in a snowfield, don't you think? I can't wait to get started. Come on, friends, let's let us go. It is high time we departed to the perfect plateau. Goodness me, I've never heard such awful screeching in all my life. Why in the world would you bring him back with you? Uh, well, he's here now. We might as well put up with him. Come on, dude, follow me. So where's the mirror? Oh, he found Raw's mirror. What do you think? You should be able to build a pretty spectacular castle here, right? Indeed, it has a good flat foundation and a commanding view of the surroundings. A master builder couldn't have a more perfect, uh, chosen a better spot. It certainly seems like an ideal place to build a castle, but whatever are we going to do about creating a snow field? I'm sure a builder as skilled as dude will figure it out. This place will be a winter wonderland here in no time. Dude, we shall have we shall have to leave the procurement of the snow in your capable hands. Meanwhile, we shall begin work on the castle. I believe we have proven ourselves competent in castle competent castle constructors. Would you agree? Moonbrook's castle is a very grand affair, wasn't it? Well, I think our castle should be at least as grand, if not grander. I agree, and this time we shan't leave the lion's share to share of the building work to dude. It's high time we repaid him for all that he did for us. On Moonbrook we'd always trouble you with the blueprint. But this time is different. We shall design a castle that exceeds Lulu's wildest dreams. Ho ho ho! Well said, General. Let's begin work immediately. You're gonna build the whole thing yourselves without a blueprint. Are you sure that's a good idea? If you're not, young maiden, you may rely on us to build the barbican and construct the crenellations. In the meantime, dude here can concentrate on crafting the snowfield. The north of Moonbrook lies an isle of everlasting ice, and the Powy Yowies that make their home there can breathe snow as a dragon breathes fire. We can recruit a Power Yowie to our cause. We can grow up a blizzard and summon forth all the snow we need. If that's your plan, then you better take this with you. I made it as a treat for Digby and Dougie, but that, but this monster you're looking for might like it more. Well then, dude, the rest is up to you. Journey to Rimey Reef, befriend a Power Yowie, and bring it back to snow our fields. I mean, I could. But, question. Does this work? Why does this game not let you design anything? I'm unsure, and it annoys me a little bit. Because, like, I mean, it does let me design stuff, but I do wish that there was an option at the very beginning that said, like, you know, you're good. Well, there's an option that said, like, do you want to build this stuff yourself? And the answer would be yes. And then it'd be like, okay, cool. It does work, but the power yaois are the best. Yeah, I'm still going to go get the power yaoi. I just really don't need several thousand snow in my inventory.
This sucks. Let's go get the power yaoi. I mean, I'm getting it done, but it still sucks. Uh, let's go up here for one moment, though. Uh, let's see. Mini medals. Seven mini medals there. Hitting 46, give you a bit of blusher. Hitting 50 medals, I give you a copy of the songbook, Songs of Paradise. Sing, stand, 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 you brought me a total of 50 mini medals. Make it 54, and I'll give, give, give you a nice witch's hat. Wouldn't that be nice, nice, nice? Uh... I guess we should very quickly grab a, grab the residence register. Make a second one. Make a second one, because we want to bring the golem with us, no matter what. I guess we should also level this up. Okay, so we've remembered all the recipes we learned on Moonbrook. Did we get some more too, I hope? Like, a dresser? Okay, there's definitely some more there. Like hot water in your bottomless pot. Here's fountain. Okay, raise the total fanciness level. So a number of these are going to be ones that we're going to have to work for. Um, I don't see a dresser here, which concerns me. There it is. A wardrobe. Sorry. Okay. So now we can make the changing room. We can also make an armoire. We might as well. Yeah, we're gonna want to grab a lot of things. To be honest. Uh, even once I build, uh, once I, even once I finish this game, you know what, we might as well make a stupid amount of these. Because I'm gonna want to just put them in various places. Yeah, we'll figure out the rest of this later. Okay, so next up, I'll Awakening, back to the dock. I'm assuming Melroth will not be joining us. Cannot choose that item yet. Kind of figured as much. Ahoy, oh, dude. Will you, where will you be howling anchor to today? Okay, so Laguna Perfume and Rimey Reef. There's still some space here for things, things to do. Okay, the Arshi blows. Now we can set sail for Laguna Perfuma anytime you like. So that'll give me infinite marble and infinite earth, infinite stone, and infinite magic crystal. Also looks like there's some fun things here. Well, let's go to Rimey Reef. There's a chick on the list. Did the chickens make a babby? Yep, at, very, at the very end, after all my cows got killed. I'll have to go back. Uh, and we'll go get the Pau Yowie. Can you get more kill cows? I absolutely could. I just... Not immediately... Uh, inspired to do so right now. Step one, repair friendship with Melroth. Step two... Uh, did you do all the collecting? For some reason, I got a spot after the first island you don't have. Uh, I thought I did. I should have. Yeah, how long is the last chapter for this game? Because I heard it was short. But how short is short? Because if it's really short, I wouldn't mind powering through and finishing it tonight. But if short is like five hours, 
Oh. It's very linear and six hours. Okay, so yeah, we're not we're not getting into that that chapter today. We're getting it to. We're we're gonna do it tomorrow. Okay, there's the power yaoi. And this would be easier with Nalroth. Now question, do I befriend... I know this is spoilers, but I, do I re-befriend Malroth before that? Or do I pretty much have to wait until the end of the game? Uh, okay, where are my... where are my monster treats? Okay, no Melroth until the end of the game. Okay. Because if I could re-befriend him uh, earlier on... Or my monster munchies. Oh, there they are. Nope, lost him. There they are. We now have a Powie Yowie. Yeah. Oh, come on. Okay. On one hand, I've fallen asleep again. Son of a butt. That's really annoying. Okay. Well, we got what I came for. I'm just going to ignore these guys. We can fight them later. But yeah, we'll, we'll have to re-befriend Malroth tomorrow. Because six hours from now would be like 3 a.m. And I just can't do that. Yeah, Golem is kind of amazing. Yup! I got really lucky. Because apparently he's kind of hard to recruit. And he makes, like, grinding for basic resources hilariously easy. Because you just, like, oh, hey, here's a mountain that I need to, like, get stuff from. Destroy. Yell if you guys see a snowman, by the way. Because I'm supposed to get one of those. Okay, we got one of Builderdom's best creations. Is there no NPC? Oh, there is an NPC here. Hello there, I'm Lancey, a wandering knight of some renown. Who might you be? You're building a great kingdom upon your very own island and... Well, freeing other islands from the cruel grip of tyranny. That sounds like a noble per pursuit indeed. I'd be most honored to join you in this endeavor. Tell me, have you had, have you use of my blade? Yes. Very well. Then you have my sword. I shall serve you until the end of my days. And yeah, there is a book on the table we can check. I wish there had been optional conversations that you could have with Melroth. Was he was in jail? That would change the conversation with him when he comes back. Yeah, it's a little annoying that like I was willing, but the game was not. No, can't read the book. Well, BAMO! I escape! But like, if my if my friend had been imprisoned unjustly, and somebody said, you uh, get away from the uh, the cell, like you can't even talk to this guy, I probably would have started, uh, I probably would have started like breaking shit. Oh, hold on. I need to check Dark Bark. I guess we need the ladders, too. Wow, my inventory is almost completely full of trash. I should probably get rid of some stuff next time we're on the island because I am overburdened. I guess that's not going to work.
Okay, so we're getting leaks from that. That's worth checking out. Man, I wish these islands had music. Let's see. Might that have been why you don't have it? Are you checking the mailbox? Oh, uh, I checked the mailbox after the last chapter, but... Or, not after the last chapter, before the last chapter. Oh yeah, check leaks off. You're right, I do. I'm just gathering things. I do wish the enemies would just simply leave me alone on these islands. Unfortunately, I could use the, uh, the mod rod. But I wouldn't be able to sprint, and I wouldn't be able to, like, gather stuff, and that also sucks. Okay. Seriously? Not these rocks? Looks like there's rocks on the list, but no dice. Also looking for, like, more of a pinkish stuff and some other things. I don't know. My heart's not in it right now. Which is kind of bad. And I know, I know, like, you're not, uh, it, none of it matters. But it just sucks a little bit, and I'm just like, eh. I don't want to do sandbox business. Like, the fact, the fact that they're even making us do all this, like, meaningless stuff right now instead of letting me move on to uh uh to the next chapter is kind of annoying it, it makes sense i know why it's just i don't know Okay, so I'm missing this banner. I think I'm just missing the snowman on that side. Oh. Which grassy earth? It looks like there's actually like buildings or something that I can find here. Yeah, I, I might as well. I, I absolutely agree. I just don't wanna. Ooh. That's a mid boss. Oh, those are potatoes. Okay, there's potatoes I should grab here. But first. Violence. This is, I think, the first high tier monster I've ever seen that resists my, uh,. That res resists my golem pushing it around. Should probably grab some food. Uh, let's see. Do I have a crab claw? I do have a crab claw. Okay, that's some food. Okay, there we go. I'm feeling much better. I'll have to eat some food and so on and so forth. Yeah, the knight has no weapon right now. Yeah, I'll deal with it later. First, I want to see if I can recruit this sucker, because apparently they're amazing farmers. And so if I can if I can recruit the Power Yaoi and the Automaton, that'd be perfect. I hate... I really wish there were, there were the, uh, the old accessories that prevented status effects in this game. Because that would certainly be nice. Please? Yes? The mech wants to be my friend. Also, Falcon Blade strikes twice with each attack. Oh, well, that's possibly better than what I've got? I'm not sure. Okay, so we now have a Hunter mech.
Oh. Just not marble. Okay, so we want to look around for potatoes. There's potatoes. Hmm. I almost kind of wish Explorer Islands were something that you unlocked mid-chapter instead. Because that would have actually been kind of a nice change of pace. Uh... To have to go and, like, get spare resources from... the local Explorer Islands instead. Not a big deal. But still. I haven't found anything that looks even remotely close to Snowmanny. Right, I've got to actually check check these. I got to stop like just harvesting them. Okay. Well, Golem. Oh, there's a hidden interaction with the Falcon Blade and other sword you can get later. That's kind of cool. Wait, Snowman. Snowman! Okay, we now have an infinite supply of magic crystal. Oop. Yeah, I walked right past it. I am actually just totally zoning out at this point. I enjoy this game a lot, but it pisses me off that the uh, that the whole like Mal Malroth uh, isn't your friend right now thing. Is that an igloo? It probably is. No idea. That was an ice pile. A popsicle in it. That was suspicious. What else have we got around here? Stuff on top of the mountain for sure. Let's see, at least we got monster friends. Yeah, until the next chapter starts. Oh. Get out of here. Oh. Border boulder. Floating flower petals. Spa spout. Big boulder bolt. Uh, border boulder. Pink dive vein. There's a pink dive vein right there. Wow, that's that's fortuitous. Thank you very much. Oh, dang it. Uh, let's see. This is hot water. Going. And now we... Now we're gonna learn how to make the other stuff. Hey guys, don't... You don't need to yell at me. For context, I might as well explain. I live stream all of these, and every once in a while somebody shows up and just starts like getting progressively madder at me for not responding to them. Usually because I'm not doing something or whatever, and then they get madder and meaner. And I had to shut them down in this case, and then got stuck on the topic for a while. I apologize, but I mean it needs to be said occasionally. Sorry, that's the only time you see what I said. Does, doesn't matter, don't yell at me. It's not appreciated and like... Sorry, I... What am I? Oh, it's because I'm still hungry. Yelling at me does nothing. Apart from making me mad. And there's no point in it. Like, backseat gaming is not a, uh... You shouldn't have to backseat game to get me to do something correctly. That's silly. Wow, really? I'm just making friends left and right. Alright, Cosmic Ch Chimera. Like if I if I don't read what you say, I might still I might still read it. I might just not read it out loud. But 
you know, going all caps and getting, like, really exasperated at me is just going to get uh, you... I mean, straight up, uh, on YouTube, people that yell at me for things just get a straight up ban, usually. Uh, I I'm not going to say that my job is, like, terribly stressful, but, like, it's one of those where it's like, I don't really need to be, like, yelled at day in, day out or anything like that. Especially because, like, I'm rarely ever doing anything terribly wrong. Especially, like... You know, if I walked away from the snowman, like, okay, sure, yeah, Wander, you missed you missed the snowman, but you don't have to be like, Wander, you missed the snowman! It's like, whatever, there's like 50 other ones. I'd pay attention eventually. Let's see if we can recruit this guy. Probably not. I think I've, I'm maxed out on followers right now. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Uh, let's see, what is this? I have no idea. Ah, poor Lily, of course. Uh, let's see. I'm missing a type of tree. Probably a bigger or a smaller tree. Aha! Here we go. But, like, it's rare that I make a permanent mistake that I can't immediately rectify by just, like, wandering around a little longer. And even if I did make a major mistake, yelling at me about it is not going to make me, like, play better. It's just going to make me more annoyed. If that makes... Like, imagine if you were playing a game and you, like, you slipped up. And somebody just started shouting at you for it. Like, how would that make you feel? Probably pretty shitty. I'd wager. Like, imagine uh, you're playing Smash Bros. Or, eh, not even Smash Bros. Imagine you're playing Mario Maker and you miss a jump and you die and you have to go back to the beginning again. And you have 50 people, like, just yelling at you for it. Like, how could you do that? It's not uncommon to have that kind of thing happen, and as, like, a person that does this for a living, I'm kind of sick of it. Uh, and so, like, yeah, don't, just don't yell at YouTubers. This is, it's pointless. It's just gonna make us frustrated. Uh, let's see, supposedly you can fly in the Chimera. Yeah, we should check that while we're here. My god, this is stupid. Yeah, sure, you can fly in the Chimera, but like... Why? I mean, I guess it works. No, I guess this actually works really freaking well. Because it recovers its... Okay, well, 